Um, Madam Chairman and board members, executive officer, staff, good morning. And I'm Bill McNicholas, Clean Up Marineway Plaza now Oversight Committee. And I'm back <clears throat> following two months, which Cleet Carlton put out a letter to the discharger stating they were in violation of not getting the uh, reports out from the sampling stand after cleaning up at the plaza. To date, no reports have been posted on GeoTracker. Uh, I do, I'm aware of a meeting between Supervisor Conley and Supervisor Elect Sackett and the discharger in which the discharger stated didn't have funds. Uh, I don't buy that since I haven't discussed with the staff in the past that there are several entities tied into the plaza of ownership that monies would be available through this whole thing to get it done. Our concern is this is a game they played for eight years now since the rap has come out and nothing is happening with them. We also see that the housing people have talked about under the state mandate that they want to put housing there. And our concerns are, which doesn't have to do with the board, but it does state, let me close the board and I got three dogs. Uh, it does state that the environmental and community inputs are exempt from the program. So they can come in and put in. We do have the Eastern hotspot, which has not been touched and is still there and is still in a high level of PCE, which is feeding the land across the freeway. And we also have SVN9, which is a sampling well on the west side of Marinewood Avenue next to the Casa Marinewood, which was still had a high concentration of soil vapor. So that's our concerns on this whole thing. And just looking for our, what is the staff gonna to do to enforce this or to get them off the duff and get this thing cleaned up. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks, Bill, and we appreciate you uh, speaking. I think Eileen may want to say something about this as well. Um, yes, yeah, so we've been in communication with them, and they told us we're going to get their soil vapor remediation implementation report by the end of November. It is later than the original deadline, but they did say they're also going to submit their third quarter monitoring report by the end of November, and they plan to resubmit the remediation effectiveness evaluation report in mid December. And we're continuing to press the parties to comply as soon as possible, and we're judiciously using the tools at our disposal, including potential informal and formal enforcement actions. Great, and um, I think we're going to we're going to approve the minutes in just a minute. But on my review of the minutes, it's clear to me that at our last meeting, the board was very clear about really let's get this resolved. Let's use every tool at our disposal to get it resolved. Um, Eileen, would it be possible to bring this to the board in December as at least an informational item to make sure all those reports have come in that there's with this timeline. Yes, if you'd, if you'd like, I could include an update in the executive officer's report, kind of like I did last month. Um, since it wasn't the reports hadn't come in, I didn't include it this month, but I'd be happy to include it next month in the executive officer. Perfect. Um, Bill, we thank you and others for continuing to stay on this and coming to our meetings. And um, we, we are, we're, we're watching it closely as well, and, and staff is as well. All right. Any other public comments? One more. Wes is telling me. Stephen Nessel. Also on video? Yeah. Stephen, are you with us? Hello, can you hear me? Hi, Stephen. Yes, Hello? sir. Yes, okay. sir. Thank you. Um, yes, I'm also with the Clean Up Marine Wood Plaza Now Committee. And um, in addition to everything that Bill said, I really want to press how urgent this is to get this uh, property um, cleaned up. Um, it's very disappointing to hear that yet again, uh, there's going to be a delay and uh, the board seems to be okay with it because they won't have to enforce uh, uh, their own orders. But this is the game that they're playing. They're playing games with LLCs when they say they have no money. These are developers uh, uh, that have been in business since the 50s in our community. Um, there is a deep well of uh, assets available uh, to uh, handle these types of problems. Now, the urgency actually, and, and uh, Bill alluded to this, is the fact that they're putting uh, housing here. And um, uh, this uh, particular spot uh, has, because of the new housing laws, will not have to, from my understanding, will not have to get environmental review uh, to build housing. And this to me, uh, my biggest fear here is that housing is going to be built, the, the uh, discharger is going to offload the property, and legally the new developer will not have to do anything to uh, further the cleanup. And um, had the board simply stuck to its schedule and not accepted these excuse after excuse from the discharger, we would have had this property cleaned up years ago. And, um, you know, I think you have to ask, what is it that the board does? It's to protect the the, um, the water for the community, the potable, the, the drinking water, the groundwater. And um, unfortunately, in this situation, they have uh, allowed the discharger to ignore their basic responsibilities. They're doing again. If this is just a tactic. This is not serious. They're, they are not serious about moving forward on the cleanup. They're basically dragging their heels to get it, uh, the property in the hands of a new buyer who will not have to deal with the cleanup issues. And um, so that's all I have to say. Uh, please handle this because you're we rely on you for enforcing um, the standards, uh, environmental standards for our community. Thank you. Stephen, thanks for joining us and thanks for your comments. Um, I just want to say I'm looking at a board of people and a staff that takes their work extremely seriously and is, I want to assure you, fully committed to making sure that the environment is safe and sound and healthy for all Californians. So I just want to give you the assurance that we are on this. These cleanups can take a long period of time. It's something I've learned in the past uh, few years sitting on this board. But when I look at the group of people here in this room, they are working very hard to take care of these sorts of issues. I mean, do you want to add anything? I, I just agree with everything you said. It's a complex issue. And while important cleanup progress has been made since 2021, including the building demolition and the soil excavation, the goals for protecting the community from the PCE uh, vapors and staying on track to remediate off-site groundwater by February 2027, which is what we gave them, is at the forefront of our work. And we are committed to protecting the community. And we're definitely following this very closely. And as I mentioned before, we're looking at the potential enforcement options that we have to. Great. Thank you, Eileen. And thanks, team. Anyone else for comments? 